For nearly a year at this point, virtual desks on Chromebooks has been a fully formed feature. It's been kind of complete and done and usable and something I use every single day of my workflow. But about a month or two ago, more work started to be done on this new feature that is adding even more functionality to it. And today in the developer channel, we found that a huge chunk of those upcoming features to virtual desks are actually live and working and we wanted to show them to you. First up, before we get into all these new features, a quick note. This is only available in Chrome OS 89 in the developer channel right now. So, you know, it's gonna be a couple versions before we see this in stable. And we generally don't recommend people run to the developer channel because it's pretty unstable and you can run into all sorts of problems. Additionally, you have to turn on a feature flag called virtual desk enhancements. So if you choose to go do this, you know, have at it, have fun, but just know that the developer channel is pretty unstable and you're probably gonna run into a host of problems. It would be best to just wait for these to trickle down to the stable channel. Okay, so first up, let's look at virtual desks. So we swing up and used to, when you click to add new desk, you could add up to four and this was kind of your limit. You can actually now continue adding all the way up to eight desks. And we've talked about this on the website before, but it's really cool to see it in action to know that there are eight full desks up there. And one thing you can notice as we do that, when we open up a new desk, it automatically opens the desk and, and puts your cursor right there underneath that desk and prompts you to go ahead and name it. And we saw this change a few weeks back and it's, it's just a nice nudge to be basically tell new users, hey, you've opened a desk, go ahead and name this thing. And the idea being, if you name it, you're more likely to use it and enhance your productivity with these desks versus just calling them desk one, desk two, three, and four. But for today, we're just gonna leave them labeled as is. So that's two new features basically, eight desks and that quick nudge to be able to tell you, hey, you need to rename your desk. But even cooler, I'm gonna open up some stuff on each one of these guys. Uh, just so you can kind of see the full animation here. Uh, yeah, just open that up there and open Twitter up there. So they've enhanced the ability for you to four finger swipe. Before, when you, you'd swipe once, you'd get one desk over. Swipe once, get one desk over. There was no ability to multi swipe or move through multiple desks at once. That has completely been overhauled. And as you can see now with a four finger gesture, you can actually swipe through multiple of your desks in kind of one fluid motion. As long as you keep your fingers on there, you can just swing straight through these as quick. I mean, that's kind of off-putting, but if you go nice and slow, you can actually move through three or four desks with one single swipe gesture. And so it really makes it feel like your desks are kind of laying themselves out in this virtual space out here. And you're really just kind of pulling them into view whenever you want them versus this swipe, change, swipe change. If I know I need to go a few desks over, I can quickly go until I see the content I want and stop. Additionally, if you use the everything key and the brackets on the left and right, you can quickly go through those two without any hesitation between those animations. Additionally, they've added some help for people that like alt tab. Now I'm not an alt tab user, but they have changed some alt tab stuff in the last few updates to Chrome OS that allow you to use arrow keys and mouse you know, clicks and, and swipes to get around your alt tab menu. This new feature actually gives you an updated alt tab with all desk and current desk because used to, uh, up until this feature comes out, when you go to alt tab, you're gonna choose between all of your open windows across all of your desks. And imagine if you have eight virtual desks with three or four or five windows in each one of them, this list is going to get very, very long and it's hard to know exactly where you are. And as soon as you select on something, obviously it's gonna move you to that desk. To me, that works just fine, but there's a lot of people clamoring for the ability to see alt tab for just the stuff that's on their current desk. And what this gives you now is you say, I just want my current desk and boom, it drops down to only the things that are on this particular workspace, giving you the ability to alt tab between either just current desk or everything you have open. And that's really, really well done. I think this is gonna be a very useful feature for a lot of people. And finally, so let's finish up with this. And yeah, we're not gonna sign in or anything. If we look at the three dot menu in Chrome or in a PWA, you can actually click these down now and you have an assigned desk menu item here. And it's gonna show me all my desks. If I had named them, they would show up here. And I can just go, ah, I want that one to go to seven. So now when we look, boom, my Twitter is in desk seven. 
and say I go over here to this, and if you're looking at a full Chrome window, for right now, for some reason, it's not in the three dot, it's actually you right click the top window. Uh, so that Twitter that we were looking at, yes, it's Chrome, but it was, it was installed as a PWA. You have to right click up here in the window, uh, the window bar up top, and the assign to desk shows up. Again, click, say I want it to go to eight, and then we're gonna quickly Swipe all the way over to eight, and there that is as well. So that's it for the new stuff in Virtual Desk right now. And I hate to say that's it because that's a lot of stuff. And we're even tracking a couple other features that could show up as part of this single feature flag uh, that's going to even add more stuff to the Virtual Desk feature on Chromebooks. And so we're excited about this because Honestly, Virtual Desk felt like it was kind of complete and done, and all of these new changes uh, not only add beneficial things for users, new and old, it's just a signal of the fact that Chrome OS continues to develop and continues to get better on this just regular routine basis. And it's awesome to be a Chrome OS fan, to be a Chromebook fan, and to sit back and watch this kind of stuff happen. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, go down there and hit that subscribe button, and make sure that you ring the notification icon as well well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.